It's important to understand the program flow that your beer droid will go through during a brew. In order, the brewing program zones are Propagate, Ferment, Keg, Store. The Propagate zone runs for 12 hours. During this period, your beer droid maintains the perfect temperature for the growth of yeast cells. During the Propagate zone, brewing in progress will be displayed on the unit screen. The brew temperature will also appear on the screen and will gradually rise or fall to the preset temperature or to the temperature you have chosen in a custom program. The total elapsed time will show on the screen in days and hours. After propagation, your beer droid will transition into the ferment zone. During this zone, yeast is converting sugars into alcohol and releasing carbon dioxide as a byproduct. How long your brew remains in the ferment zone depends on the factors including the recipe, the strain of yeast used and the fermentation temperature. Both lager and ale programs have preset temperatures and of course in a custom program the temperature is set by you manually. Note that the temperature displayed on the screen indicates the temperature of the brew. Your beer droid will monitor the fermentation process and when it detects the end of fermentation it will transition to the keg zone. If your beer droid does not detect end of fermentation after 20 days in the ferment zone, it will automatically transition to the keg zone and report that end of fermentation was not detected. The kegging zone brings your brew to optimum temperature for kegging or bottling. This is preset to 18 degrees Celsius or 64 degrees Fahrenheit for both ale and lager programs. Again, in a custom program, this temperature will be set manually by you. At this stage, the screen will indicate brewing complete. It will also read, preparing to keg, please wait. When the brew has reached target temperature, the display will read, ready to keg. When your beer droid indicates, ready to keg, pressing tick will end the program. Note that if no action is taken within two days of your brew arriving in the keg zone, the unit will automatically move to the store zone. The brew can safely stay in the store zone until you are ready to keg. The LCD display on your beer droid is very easy to understand. During a brew, you can see what program you are running and the active brewing zone. The temperature is shown in either degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. You can change the display units by pressing the thermometer button. As well as the current brew temperature, the beer droid will indicate whether it is heating, cooling or within the target temperature. You will also be able to see the total brew time. The temperature display is also used to indicate the following. E and then a digit. This is an error code. The number corresponds to an error code shown in the operating manual. Two dashes. This indicates that the temperature of your brew is more than 34 degrees Celsius or 93 degrees Fahrenheit, which is beyond the operating range of the beer droid. Refer to the FAQs for more information. FT. Your beer droid is performing a fermentation test on your brew. While this is in progress, your brew temperature is not displayed. The brew status panel indicates the overall brewing status. Brewing in progress. This displays while your brew is either propagating or fermenting. Brewing complete. This is displayed when the beer droid has detected that your brew has completed fermentation. This will display during keg and store zones. EOF not detected. This means that the maximum fermentation time has been reached and that the end of fermentation has not been detected. Refer to the FAQs for more information. Preparing to keg. This is displayed while your beer droid is getting your brew to kegging temperature. Ready to keg. This is displayed when your beer droid has your brew at kegging temperature. The user prompt display helps guide you through operation of your beer droid. The icons shown in the Wi-Fi information area on the display indicate Wi-Fi and internet connectivity and current status. If they are both blank, your beer droid's Wi-Fi is off. If either is flashing, they are attempting to connect. When they are both on and static, your beer droid is successfully connected. You can see the brew through the viewing window. To assist, you can push the light button on the panel to light the inside of the beer droid. The light will automatically turn off after 15 seconds. You can also monitor the status of your brew via the BrewArt app on your smartphone. To monitor your brew via the app, first select the Brew Status page. Here, you will be able to view the brewing program, the total brew time, 
the current brewing zones and your brew's current temperature, target temperature and the ambient temperature, that is, the temperature of the room. There is a graph that displays the recent temperature history of your brew and whether the beer droid is currently heating, cooling or on target. The notification area displays brewing milestones that you have reached and any other events that have occurred.